Justin Bieber is one of the most recognizable young stars of all time. But I think that he's done such a great job at transitioning into an adult star that his younger stardom is not really examined in the same way I see others examined. Like, he's not a nostalgia act, which is usually the common trajectory for people who get famous so young. For example, I don't even think of the song Baby when I first think of Justin Bieber. He just seems so far removed from his younger stardom. It's not something he just coasted in. While Justin has had his very public controversy and done some bad things, I don't think his relationship with the media while being a young star is necessarily talked about enough. It was not all sunshine and rainbows. And one thing we could talk about is the Bieber hate. For anyone who witnessed the rise of Justin Bieber, you could understand how excessive and socially expected it was to say you hate Justin Bieber. I don't even feel like it was fashionable to say Justin Bieber had some good songs until 2015's Purpose. Now granted, young Justin Bieber did in fact have some songs that I would consider annoying. For instance, I strongly dislike Baby, and I felt people have a right to dislike music. Artists put music out for public consumption, and the public is allowed to give their opinion on it, good or bad. But the backlash Bieber received was so much more than that. You would have grown adults dogpiling on him for no reason. Insults, questioning his sexuality, and so on and so forth. And of course there's something to be said about the mass hate towards anything that appeals to teenage girls. Bieber's not necessarily unique in this scenario, but it's still so insane how much anti-Bieber rhetoric there was. However, there is a certain benefit, or can be a certain benefit, to that type of hate career-wise. What it did is it gave his young fans who adored him even more of a reason to defend him and stick by his side. Imagine when you were a young fan of someone and you hear someone say that this person is trash, especially if they're older, it only makes you want to defend your favorite artist more. Justin has spoken about how it made him feel. I had no idea that I would get sucked up by all this stuff, Justin recalled. There was just so many people who were so mean. Random people who were like, you suck, you look like a girl. I would shake it off and act like it didn't bother me, but that stuff bothered me, and then it affected how I acted and how I treated people. Moving past the hate, there were also many blatantly inappropriate things that coincided with the rise of Bieber. He was sexualized a ton, and there's even moments where a young Bieber expresses how uncomfortable he is, but it was brushed off. Have you, has your mom given you a sex talk yet? I mean, like, I, I really, like, I really don't want to have that conversation with my mother. Yeah. Like I've, I've kind of had it with my with my father. You want to hear? Oh, really? Okay, See, my okay. parents my parents never gave me the sex talk. Okay. So why don't you give me the sex talk? I, I really me. I feel uncomfortable right now. Oh. Why do you want to know the sex talk from a fifteen year old boy? That's pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the album. Okay, what's going on with your new album? <laughs> Right now. It's almost mind boggling how much we have changed culturally because a lot of these things flew under the radar and were not discussed or spotlit despite happening so publicly. If something like this happened today, it's almost guaranteed to get a big reaction. But it's also terrible that that reaction didn't happen in the moment, especially because it occurred in the international media. And maybe it wasn't met with much of an inflammatory reaction because this type of sexualization is brushed off when it comes to boys, especially when it comes to boys and older women. It's almost assumed that boys should like that type of attention. And on the other hand, when it comes to men having inappropriate conversations with young boys, it's almost always presented as a stroke of ego or some type of symbol of camaraderie instead of what it actually is, predatory and weird. A stranger has absolutely no business trying to talk to someone's child about the birds and the bees. 
It was later revealed that Justin was struggling with addiction as well. So bad to the point that the people around him feared that he would pass away from an overdose, and he admitted that he first tried drugs at the age of 13. And obviously Justin has his wrong choices and his own accountability to be held for some of the situations he's been in as well. But uncovering all that he went through and makes some of his controversies and actions much more understandable. As if being a child star isn't enough pressure, there's another added layer of pressure when you have reached Bieber's status of visibility that caused him to be a figure of both hate and admiration at such a young age and inexcusable predatory incidents. He's lived a wild life. 